taking Lyft for weeks to get around after her car recently broke down. She says everything has been going well, but Wednesday her ride took a traumatic turn that has left her living in constant fear. That day it seemed normal at first and it just turned left real bad. This Phoenix mom of two says she was coming off a 10 hour work shift when she requested a ride from a store near 48th Street and Broadway. She says within six minutes, this man, Justice Levon, picked her up. He asked me, um, what was I gonna do right now? And I told him, well, we're gonna go pick up my kids from the daycare, I have two disabled kids there waiting for me. She says during what's typically a 45 minute ride, she dozed off and woke up near 35th Avenue and Bell Road, miles away from her drop off location. So then I said, hey, sir, you missed my stop. I dozed off. It's a good thing I woke up. And he just was talking to himself about Allah, Allah, am I doing OK? After he didn't stop and let her out, she quickly dialed 911 and told them what was going on. I was scared for my life. I told the dispatch lady, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know whose intentions are. It was about 20 more minutes before she says police got to them. My phone was dying and it died and I was in there with him with the dead. So I just got my cutter out and I told her, I said, I'm not going to go out like this. Like, I'm going to fight, you know, because this cannot be happening to me right now. If I don't go get my boys, they don't have nobody. Levon finally let her out in a dirt field in the West Valley. He told police he thought the victim was, quote, the voice in his head and admitted to being diagnosed with schizoaffective and bipolar disorders. I haven't been to work. I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, because I work so far. I'm doing what I can do, you know, to keep a job, to get my kids where they need to go and to save up for a car, but it's hard. It's very hard. Lyft described this incident as deeply troubling and permanently removed Levon from the app. The company does perform background checks on all drivers before they're hired. And every year after that, Levon was, ha was booked in jail, but then bonded out and he is due back in court later this month. Reporting in the newsroom, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.